Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday in which we're going to make versatile, easy index cards file folder booklet. But first let's have our shout out to Junk Journal Junkie, K. Ree, Catherine, Leanne, Mercy, Levin, and Marta. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a lot of grid paper. I have, of course, a lot of book pages and I have music paper. So I thought, oh, what can we make with these things? I also have lots of index cards. So I thought, let's do something fun with index cards, music paper, book paper, and grid paper. So this is what I came up with. I'm going to take my index card. Now someone's going to ask me what size this is. You can use any size of index card that you have. This happens to be six inches by four inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to turn this grid paper upside down. I'm going to get my art glitter glue. You use the glue of your choice and that will be absolutely perfect. So adding my glue onto one side of my index card and then I'm going to lay it on my grid paper and I'm going to obviously lay it upside down so it uh, I get the grid on the front. Okay, very simple, just like that. Or maybe you would rather use your book page and it's the same idea. I'm going to look on this other side to see how that looks. Now I like this side better because it's a full paragraph. This one's broken up a little bit. So I'm going to just, once again, add my glue onto my card and simply lay it down. Now I do want it to be covered in words, the book page, words, the paragraph. So I am going to make sure I cover it where all the words are. Now, of course, you do the same thing with the music paper. And then what I did was... I grabbed my scissors, I'm looking for them here, and I simply just cut out around the index card. Just very simply, just like that. You all know how to do that. And then after I got it, got it cut out, then I decided that I needed to ink it. So I got my vintage photo and I got my sponge. And oh, before I did that, I did round the corners. So bringing in my corner rounder, and I'm just rounding my corners of my index card. Just like that. Then I got my sponge, and I just went around. I need to put a little bit more ink on here, because I want it to go quickly. I just went around just like this, all the way around, and then I turned it over the other side, and I did the exact same thing, all the way around. So I have right here, let me grab them right here, I have all three completely done. Now the reason why I did it this way was because I did not want to fold these while they were still wet because I went into problems when I fold my things when they're still wet. I also have lots of very small floral pieces and I wanted to find something to use them on because as you can see I have lots of them. I went to my labels and I pulled out small little labels and I went ahead and inked them up and got them all ready. I do have, let's see if I, whoa, I don't know what I did with them. I'm going to have to look. Okay, but I have some um, flat back pearls that I use. Now I made one of each of these in my example and I can't tell you which one I like better because they all turn out so differently. What I do is, now, if you sew, and actually I think I am going to stop and sew these because my examples are not sewn, and then you can see the difference between the two. So I'm going to take these to my machine, and I'm just going to sew around the edge. All right, so I have sewn around the edges of these. 
just like that. So what I want to do next is I want to bring in some coffee dyed paper and I'm actually going to see how many I can get out of this. Probably only maybe three doing it this way. At this point in time I want to let's measure this again. This was six inches. So I think what I'll do is I'll mark this the six inches, five and a half inches, five and a half. And I think I said they were three. Is that right? I said nope. I said they were four. So let's mark this. Um, let's go ahead and cut this. We're making little pages to go inside of our little folder book. Um, let's see here. Let's get this cut just like that. I'm sure I'm not doing a very good job at making this, but yeah, I'm going to do it this way. I think I can get a few out of this. So I said that was four, so let's mark this at three and a half. I just want them to be inside. I don't want them to be edge to edge, just a little bit of writing paper tucked inside. So there we go. There's one. Let's do another one. Good. I will get four out of this one sheet. There we go. That should be that should be great. And I'm going to why I have them here all together. Let's see if I can do them all together. Sure. I'm going to round their edges. Okay. And one more corner. Brush off the little pieces that flew everywhere. I'm going to set those aside. Now we're going back here. And I'm going to, let's just pick out a few things. That's pretty cute. That's different. Um, there's this one. I don't have a blue one. And let's see. Let's do this pink one. All right. So now... I'm going to just place these over to the side because I was afraid I was going to spill them all onto the floor. I'm going to just quickly run my sponge over this just to take away the bright white. There we go. There's one little section right here. For my smaller right here the section right here since all the others are taken out I'm going to go ahead and quickly cut that out just like that just so it it matches the others that's all and then this one has a lot more white on it there we go now I'm going to see if I can get this up since it doesn't look very good. There we go. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to fold these in half just so we know where half is. I'm not really going to keep them half until we add our pages. Okay, so I'm going to fold this one in half as well. So these are great to have. Now see my book page is old and it... Um, it broke, but that's going to be okay. We're going to cover that up. So you can use those old book pages that do that. And, you know, that's a little upsetting if you're making something and you have nothing to cover it with because that broke pretty good. But it's going to be okay if your book page breaks like that. Running my sponge on the edge. Now I'm going to open this back up, just like this, and I'm going to bring in some music paper. And I thought I had inked some up, but I don't see that any of this is inked. So I'm going to ink this up real quick while I tell, tell you what hashtag Tag Me Tuesday is all about. It's a Facebook group that I have, 
and the link is down below. I invite you all to join. And over there, you see the project. I post the project that is for that week. Hashtag tag me Tuesday. And I invite you all to show us your version of the same project. Even though we are doing the same project, it will turn out differently because of our personalities. Our personalities come through in our crafting. And I absolutely love to see the exact same project done in different ways. Oh, this is going to tear. That was not a good idea. Here, this is what I need. I'm looking at my trash to get this. So I love to see how the exact same project, and we all do it with our own little flair, and it turns out so differently. I think that is fascinating. I really do. Now, to join the group, you will need to accept the rules of the group. And what are the rules? The rules are to be kind to everyone and there's no selling. It does not mean that you can't sell your stuff. It just means you can't sell your stuff on that site. That's all that means. So I invite you all to join, but you must remember that you have to accept the rules or I will not accept you into the group. To be kind to everyone and that there's no selling. Now I switched to grid because I don't want to put music paper onto music paper. I don't think that's going to, you know, give it the look that I want. So I'm going to just fold these little pieces that I have torn in half so that they will fit right here. But I'm not going to glue them on folded because then it's going to give me that problem that I have when I put my glue on and then things kind of go wonky for me. So... I'm going to just lay that down just like that, smooth it out. So it's right at the, the point where it's folded, but it's going to dry flat. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say to you. Maybe you guys don't have that problem, but I surely do. Every time I glue it and then I fold it, it puckers. It just puckers funny and I don't care for it. Once again, I'm just folding my strips in half. Someone's going to say, how wide are these strips? Uh, about an inch. Obviously, that's longer than an inch, but, you know, somewhere around that. You don't want to have them so big that it covers up your, whether it's your book page or your music paper or grid paper, whatever paper you're using. You don't want it so big that it covers up all this here, but you don't want it so small that it's not going to serve its purpose when you put it on the the spine of the little booklet. So somewhere, you know, somewhere, see how it just puckered, just that little tiny piece, that little tiny time I bent it, it puckered. <laughs> oh, I did it right there. So we smoothed it out. It was still wet enough I could move it. Now I have one more to do. So I'm just going to fold this in half like this. I probably should fix that by just inking it now before I glue it on and then I won't have it that give me a problem. And I'm just going to apply my glue and then apply it right here. It's going to get it set on there just like that. There we go. That's going to be wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the edges. Obviously, you can see that this is a great mass make. It uses up book pages, music papers, grid papers, index cards. Wonderful. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in just a little bit of lace. And I have this lace right here. It's just a small lace. And I'm going to add it to the bottom simply by adding my hot glue onto the bottom and then just laying this right over the top. Now, you don't have to use hot glue. You can use the glue of your choice. I use hot glue because it's fast, it's quick, it's easy, and it's great to use for videos. So I'm just trimming it just like that. Now let's go to the book page. And of course, when you do it, you want to make sure that you've got it on the end that the bottoms, or if you're going to put it on the top, but you need to make it so it's where you're opening it. 
So let's just add our little bit of glue right here. Place down our lace. And I guess it doesn't matter which side you put it in because never mind what I said before. I just realized that was kind of dumb to say. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, keep going. I guess it might matter if you want to keep your music paper straight. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Trimming that off. Now, what I want to do is, I think, no, I'm not really dry enough yet. This folds this way, right? So I am going to just grab some labels here. And then I'm going to see, hmm, which one of these? Does one really look any better on here than the other? No, not really. They all look great. I like this rose. And I think I want to add it. I think I want my label to be up a little higher. Maybe something like that. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the corner of my label, and I'm going to stick my fussy cut right here. Now I'm going to place the glue on all, all of it. And I'm going to place it more over here on the side because I'm going to be adding a tab onto these. So let's do this one. And... I'm thinking maybe this would look best because I think I need that's browner, that's whiter. I think that will stand out a little better here. So for some reason, I kind of like this oval with it. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to add my glue to the bottom of my tulip leaves. There we go. And then I'm just going to put my label on like this. Okay. And then I'm going to put my glue on my label and my fussy cut. I'm going to place it over kind of towards the side because remembering I'm going to be having a label up here in this area. And then one more. So if you do it this way, you can really um, put out quite a few. We're making three in no time at all. Um, let's see here. Kind of like that. I, I have no idea why. I just kind of like it. Like I think I like the boxiness um, paired with the tall slender. So, a little bit of glue. And we're just laying it right down. That, pressing it. All right, moving this out of the way. Now I have some scraps and my scraps. Here are my scraps. No, those aren't my scraps. Here are my scraps. All different kinds of scraps. Now my scraps are cardstock. And what I think I want to do is I want to select, oh, I think that looks gorgeous with this. So I've got my tab punch right here, and I'm simply going to punch out a little bit of this beautiful color. I like that bright color right there. So I'm going to put these with this one. This is a pretty pink, so... Let's, no, 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 that pink and blue looks great. Oh my gosh, you guys, the wind is coming up something fierce. I guess there's a storm coming. I kept getting a notification that there was a storm coming, but he gets. I look outside, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's here. Okay, I'm going to get this video finished before maybe my electricity goes out. All right, so I've got that one. And then, I don't know, maybe I'm switching to this blue, or maybe this blue. No, I like this brighter blue. So like I said, these were just scraps I dug out of my scrap bin. And I'm just using for my tabs. They are cardstock. Pushing these over here to the side. 
and I'm going to quickly ink these up and yes I do them one at a time I kind of like that I don't know some people say why don't you do them all at once and not have two pieces I don't know it's because this is the way I like to do it I'm real I like to be I guess I should say I'm picky about what part of the paper I punch out as a tab so that's my excuse for doing it this way I'm just quirky that way I guess so let's just there we go now let's get this on do I like this one better or do I like this one no I like this one better so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glue right here on the bottom of my tab and I'm going to position it where I like it I want it right here I'll hold it down for just a second turn it over and I'm going to stick my other tab right here just like that very very simple easy to do it's just the way I like to do it now I think I can fold it now oh my goodness isn't that looking cute now we don't have our papers in yet but let's go ahead and let's add a little bit of pearls just a few pearls I when I was looking for something when I got up I had to do something what was I getting something but anyway I found the uh, the pearls and I think that looks great now this one right here yeah I think actually I think I like this one so I'm going to place this right here just like that and then I'm going to place the other one on the back now you see why you kind of wanted to pay attention to where you placed your flowers now you could have put the tab on first and then you wouldn't have had a trouble had any trouble but I kind of wanted to see what the look was before I picked what tab paper I wanted so I really didn't know which which paper I wanted to put my tab first so that's why I did not put my tab first and I went ahead and decorated and put my flowers on first so getting this one married up and I need to go ahead and put my little pearl I think I want them right up here I don't know why just something different right you don't always have to have them at the bottom and just putting them right there that's cute and this one let's see where we can put this one we can do this one totally different and put it right here right on the tab itself okay now remember those papers that we cut so I have some right here I actually have another one I don't know they'll have I've been putting two yeah I'm short I'm short one but that's okay you can get the idea by doing it this way I've got two of them I'm gonna fold them in half and I'm just going to run my sponge on the papers just a little bit just to you know, give it that feel it's just that added touch so run it over the paper and then I'm opening it up and I'm placing it right in here trying to space it as evenly as I can then I've got my oh yeah it's raining now guys I've got my what is this called stapler <laughs> and I'm going to staple my pages just like this now you know I don't like staples to show I love staples I just don't want them to show I don't like this bumpy stuff I don't like anything showing so let's finish one more and then I'm going to show you what I do to hide the staples so just going around just like that and then I'm placing it right in the fold I'm folding it it's nice and dry now I don't have any trouble getting it positioned the best I can bringing in my staple stapler and stapling and then right here goodness gracious there we go now 
I have washi. I love to use washi, but I haven't been using washi lately. I think I've been kind of forgetting it. So let's see here. Um, I just grabbed one of my boxes. I, I will admit that I have more than one box of washi. And I don't know if I have a lavender. This one's not bad. I like this one. It has. It's picking up that um, yellow tulip with the purple in it, the tulip that's back behind. And I'm just tearing a piece of washi and I'm going to put it over, whoa, over my stapler, staple, not stapler, over my staple. I'm all fumble fingers all of a sudden. Over the music paper. I don't know. I think it's really pretty. I, I like that layered look. I think it adds a little something as opposed to not having it on there. So for instance, this one doesn't have it and that one does. I don't know. I just kind of like how that looks. So let's go ahead and, oh, I forgot to put mine inside, didn't I? I also want to cover them up inside. I don't want those to show either. and just a little bit of washi really is cute inside just on your paper just like that I think it's really sweet I love washi I really do I didn't used to I had to work at using washi and once I got the hang of it I really really enjoyed it now let's go ahead and let's put the washi on here because it will change the way it looks Let's use this one, and unfortunately, I don't have another paper to finish the blue one. Let's see what that one looks with washi, because I think that blue one would be adorable with either this blue washi, or I had another one, this one, this blue washi, either one of those. That would look really cute with, but... We will continue on here. And so just a little bit right here. Oh goodness, isn't that precious? I think that is so precious. And then you just have a couple pages. But not only do you have these four pages, but you also have the cover front and back. Now, if you want to put a little pocket here, there's no reason why you couldn't put a little pocket let me bring the three in that I made earlier and let's look at them like this. So this is the grid and this is sewn and this one isn't sewn. Well, just a little bit of difference, but not that much. They're so cute, right? So here's the book page and here's the sewn one and here's the not the sewn one, the one's not sewn. So cute. Look at the difference between these over closer to the spine and this one closer to the, um, the right hand side. It changed it a little, I think. All right, and then we didn't put our washi on this one, but you can still get the idea of one is sewn and one isn't. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love this project. And as you can see, it can become a great mass make. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.